Kevin Smith on his recent podcast, which is called Fat Man on Batman, uh, came out and threw his name in the ring to be the director of the remake of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. And I'm going to read his his quote as carefully as possible because I don't really curse on this show. So it's going to be interesting. And this is a very interesting way to throw your name in the ring for a kid's movie. But Kevin said, Bedknobs and Broomsticks can be remade today. That movie is so effing, that movie can so effing work today. In a world where Disney like, like Pete's Dragons and S like that, hey, I will effing suck a D Disney to remake Bedknobs and Broomsticks. So that is what he said to Disney. He would effing S a D to get on the project to do Bedknobs and Broomsticks, which is a very, very, very interesting uh, way to try to get on there. Now, if you don't know what Bedknobs and Broomsticks is, I don't know where your childhood went, because, like, really, that's it's kind of a classic movie right there. Uh, but it is the 1971 classic Disney film. Uh, it really, it stars Angela Lansbury in it. There's a couple other people. I don't remember their names off the top of my head. But it takes place in World War II uh, Britain, where... The Nazis are doing the Blitzkrieg on London. These kids were all sent to the countryside to get away from that. Well, these three kids just happen to end up with the lady who's practicing to be a witch so she can help fight the Nazis. And adventures ensue. And this was one of the first movies where you really saw them blend animation and live action. And they did it spectacularly throughout the movie. Uh, now, there's plenty of parts where there's no animation at all. And there's plenty of places where it's almost all animation. But it's it was done so well. Like... The under the sea part uh my, my favorite part personally was when they're in the animal kingdom and they're playing soccer uh it, it, it's there's some pretty cool parts to it but this movie as a remake do i do i agree with with uh kevin smith could it be done right now sure i mean they did remake remake pete's dragon they're doing all the live actions the jungle book we talked about another live action they were going to do recently um i can't remember look at our videos it's in the catalog somewhere there and Brittany, your mic is muted, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, so there's there's lots of different, oh, different ways they could do that. Um, and Kevin Smith, yeah, I don't know if he'd be my first choice to do it, but he seems enthusiastic about it. He really wants to jump in there and get it done. So I, I could see it doing, but you know, I know Kevin Smith from his more raunchy comedies I, than like family friendly classics. So yeah, so. Yeah, Kevin Smith is, is an interesting one. In fact, the reason my mic was just muted was so that you didn't hear me clicking around and checking out just to make sure that he hasn't done anything comparable <laughs> to this. And, and not not really. Uh, uh, he's directed and produced you know, the Clerks movies, the uh, Jane and Silent Bob, Jane and Silent Bob series. Dogma, all, yeah. Lots of his Viewskew universe movies are most of what he has, and he, he has a few others that are outside of that. But they're they're not exactly family friendly movies. Um, the closest he's got, though, are Don't say Jersey Girl. Jersey no. Girl is the closest family friendly movie he has, and that was absolutely horrendous. No, so. I was going to say the closest stuff he's done is recently he directed a couple episodes of The Flash, the Flash. and yeah. Supergirl. Yeah, and I guess and yeah, those are more friendly, friendly, but but and, and those are popular, and I would say that would I, I, that's well, getting Flash is popular. Into Supergirl comic books. got canceled off of its first network in the first year it was on there, so I, yeah. I don't know if you can call that. Popular. But um, but but Bed Knobs and Broomsticks is still a pretty far cry from uh, superhero <laughs> movies or but TV there are shows. some really cool parts. Like it would be interesting to see his take. Is he going to change up the way that Animal King? Look, how about the undersea, uh, under the sea part? I mean, honestly, one of my favorite parts of the whole movie was when they actually go back to London and they're in the like, um, uh, what is the song? I can't remember the song now, but like, you can find anything you want on the street on uh, well, Piccadilly Road or something. Yeah. Portobello Road. Portobello Road. Road. Portobello. And they had all the like the, the, the Jamaican steel drums and then they had the American sailors and they had the Russians. You know, they had all the cool different groups and stuff. So I. You could do some cool things with that, but I, I don't know if this is a Kevin Smith one. Now See, he does do a Kevin lot of Smith. strange, like he does like to twist reality a little bit in some of his movies, but but honestly, it's usually a twist on reality that's that's not more like realistic that. actually than no. than what they do a bit as Bruce Six. But he does some uh, some far out there stuff too. Far out there. But though, I also bet you if Kevin Smith's life. I bet you if Kevin Smith did get his hands on this, 
the cool, the, I mean, who can't say it's the absolute best part of the movie towards the end where, where the, the armor, the suits of armor from a museum fight off the Nazi invasion of Britain. I mean, that was just so epic. I love that part. Still, as a, you know, when I was a kid, I used to watch that part, like literally just rewind and watch that part over and over and over and then rewind back over and over and over. It was just, eh, right? I mean, there's something so mesmerizing. And I'm talking about, I will just watch, I was not born in 1971. So I was, I did not grow up with, I mean, I grew up with the movie, but I didn't grow up in the time the movie was made. It just didn't matter. It was like a timeless classic. And I don't think enough people give it enough respect. So yeah, get out there and watch Bed Knobs and Brood Six if you haven't. Uh, definitely, if you have kids, especially get them to watch it it's a good good times good times but yeah as long as there's lots of armor fighting nazis like literally you can cut out the rest of the movie and have armor fighting Nazis. well no, i like the animal kingdom now so. my real question is will jay and silent bob be in this one of course they're in all those movies they they yeah. go to the worlds and they just one of them they're got those guys are just hanging out <laughs> maybe maybe they get some of the the, the, the animals high because you know that's what jay and silent bob do they smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, well, so we're <laughs> definitely not going for a Bailey Predley movie then, are we? <laughs> hey, it's legal in most of the country, uh, parts of the country now. Uh, well, so, so yeah. is alcohol and, and cigarettes, but you're not allowed yeah. to put that in, in a children's Kids movie. movie. That's pretty true, pretty true. But hit us up and let us know what you think. Do you think Kevin Smith would be a good pick to be director for a Bed Knobs and Broom Sticks movie? Hit us up. No, or if you have a better idea, let us know. But hit us up, comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus on Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.